vacation, a word not normally associated with overlanding, though they do go hand in hand. One means to get away from home, the other means to enjoy the journey. In this video, I'm going to do exactly that. Typically, in February, you'd find us out in the wilderness in Alberta, camping and hanging out with friends and having good times. But this time, I'm headed to Costa Rica for a brand new adventure. Now, of course, we wouldn't be Adventure Dog Overland without my dog Barrett. But being an Alberta born Chesapeake Bay Retriever means he prefers the cold. So we'll get to him in a minute. In the meantime, we had these dogs to keep us company on the beautiful beaches of Samara, Costa Rica. With a rental car and a beautiful villa that we'll call home base for this vacation, we got ready to start our adventure. Now if you're really into wildlife like I am, then you're really going to enjoy this video because it's non-stop from here. After checking out the pool, we also got to meet our new roommate. There's something very special about these ones, and you'll have to watch the video to find out why. Once we set up in our rooms, we had to head to the balcony and check out our amazing view. Now Barrett is staying with a friend of mine and he had a great time. If you want to see more of Barrett, well hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other videos. These 5am metal band singers are known as howler monkeys. The males are usually black fur and the females are blonde and they can live up to 20 years. They're quite interesting especially when they're living right outside the house you're staying in. After strolling the beach with some of the Costa Rica locals, this little puppy made me really miss my adventure pup. Turns out I wasn't the only one seeing new species. My Chesapeake Bay Retriever had discovered the goat pen, and he was on a mission to figure out what these things were. Let's just say the goats weren't a fan of Barrett. Everyone was out enjoying the sun today, even our macaw roommates, who happened to see an approaching male that they had to fight off of their territory. Being an overlander, I had to drive around the coast and see what I could find. I did this from time to time and at least I found some really cool water crossings. As another day came to an end, it was time to head down to the beach for dinner and a show.
Sitting down at a beach fire, I made a new friend. It must be that adventure dog in me that brings them all to me. Everyone started to get in the habit of going for morning walks. How could you not in a sunny paradise like this? Fun fact about our noisy roommates is that they mate for life. They were about to show us the special reason they were sticking around. Turns out these two were past their dating stage and had began their own family. After we figured it out, we left them in peace. At this point of the trip, we had left the coastline and had headed into the jungle to head up to the cloud forest in the mountains. As these little hummingbirds provided us with our evening entertainment, we waited for the sunset so that we could go on our night tour and see what kind of creatures we could find up here in the cloud forest. Fortunately and unfortunately, we did not find any of the forest's vipers, but we did find lots of insects and arachnids that were out on the hunt. Just like these orange kneed tarantulas who prefer to do their stalking at night. Along with plenty of spiders, we also found one angry bird that looked straight from the little app video game and an infected insect from a mushroom that is based for the theme of the show The Last of Us. At the end of the tour, an Emperor Scorpion even came to say hello. Morning came, and the view was incredible. Yeah, it's not the snowy mountains that I'm used to, but these mountain ranges were still stunning. And it was time for us to head back to the coast. We had one more activity that we had to do. After four hours of driving through the hills and mountains of Costa Rica, we finally had eyes on the coast. And I was getting an update on how Barrett, my adventure dog, was doing. Turns out he had to have eyes on him 24-7, as Barrett figured out how to 
unlock the gate to the goat pen. For those that know him, I'm sure that didn't come as a surprise. The next day came and the howler monkeys were watching us get ready as we were about to go out to sea today. I've been on the ocean many times, but this day will go down through the rest of my life as the most National Geographic style day I've ever had. I can't wait for you to see why. Though a bit far away, the humpback whales were not the star of this show. You'll just have to keep watching. With the appearance of the first bottlenose dolphin, the most epic display from the ocean I will ever see starts to begin.
there really are no words I could put together to describe the epic show the Dolphins put on for us, especially that grand finale at the end. Although this turtle felt like the last thing on this amazing tour, fortunately, he would not be. On our way back, we unfortunately came across a bottlenose dolphin who had his tail stuck in a fisherman's net. I'll call it pure luck that we happened to come back this way. With the coast being full of tiger sharks, bull sharks, and saltwater crocodiles, this little guy probably wouldn't have lasted too long. The dolphin, now named Lucky, was seriously exhausted, but we got the net off of him and hopefully he can find the energy to get back to his pod. If Lucky is a reminder of anything, it's that we really do need to take care of this world that we all love to adventure in. Thank you all for joining us in this adventure, and until next time, we'll catch you out in the wild. <laughs>